Peace and greetings, everyone. Hi, it's me, Miss Blue, the Oracle. And I wanted to come on because it is officially July. And I wanted to do a reading in the energy of July. In the energy of July. So as you guys can see, I have my spiritual tools here. And this reading is really going to be for everyone. So this goes beyond the culture. This goes beyond the collective. If you happen to stumble upon this video, no matter when you stumble upon this video, now or in the future, this one is for you. Now, there is a few things that I did ahead of time. I've already cleared and shuffled both of the decks. By the way, the decks that we're using today is the Know Your Magic Oracle Psychic deck, as well as the Astro Magic Oracle Psychic deck. Um, really vibes from the 13th dimension. And I also have my notebook here because I always take notes in my spiritual vibe tablet. And I have my notes in there, so I'll be reading from the notes in there. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. I am excited for us to get into this reading. And by the way, take what you resonate with. Take what feels good to you. Take away those things and apply them in your life. We are all so very unique and different. So I don't want you to think that whenever you're seeing readings, that something just applies to you in one way. You're gonna know what feels right for you. And here's the other thing. Because we are such multi-dimensional beings, and we're highly intelligent. And we're at a time in the world's history where we're activating things inside of us that we never knew is possible. In fact, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe this month or even in the next coming months that we don't get an update report about how much more of our intelligence and in our brain that we're using. Um, because that study of us not using a large percentage of our brain, I no longer believe that's true, especially if you're listening to this. That's not true anymore. So we're gonna be doing a couple of telepathic exercises here and I'll throw those in there as well. But for the most part, I want you to really, really just enjoy this Oracle Psychic reading. I'm gonna talk a little bit in the beginning, um, of course, and if this is your first time listening, my name is Miss Blue, uh, Miss Blue the Oracle, and I am the host of Planet Remix Online International Radio Show, where we cover everything from self-love to self-mastery, and really how to embody all of you, your mind, your body, and your spirit, and how to activate those things within yourself. Call them superpowers, call them gifts, um, call them really just ancient knowledge, whatever you choose to call them. Uh, and everyone is welcome there. And we have people who listen from all over the world. And so on Fridays and Sunday nights, myself and Brother Bilal, we work and we work in all areas from everything in the metaphysical worlds to everything for growing up that you need on planet Reme on Earth, on planet Earth. Um, and also astrology, psychic abilities, you know, activating your intuition, which we're living in a time right now that if you are not connected to that inner knowing inside of you, it's a little tricky out here in these cosmic streets. So I want you to just kind of sit back and relax and let us dive in to the reading. All right, so I'm gonna take a look here inside of my spiritual vibe tablet. I'll have this here with me because I have some notes in there, but I'm gonna keep it there until I need it. But the first thing I want us to do is to talk about this month of July. And like I said, the cards have already been shuffled. They've already been curated. So we're gonna talk about that. So right off the top, this is where we're going. I want you to look at this. 
look at this right here. Feel this energy right here. Just tap into this energy and know that this card coming up is going to apply to you. It's going to apply to all of us because this first card here is about the month and the months to come where the energy is going to be very, very intense. Let's take a look. Mm, here it is. Intuition. Intuition. For the month of July, we're looking at some pretty intense ancient energy when it comes to intuition. And this is really where you're going to have to be focused. Like use your intuition. Like so many of you today, I see you over there just going, yes, yes, Miss Blue, because you've been feeling this and you've been listening to your intuition. You haven't allowed your mind to talk you out of things or even to talk you into things. I see some of you have even canceled some plans that you made, some very significant plans and others where there was something you wasn't gonna participate in, you know that this is something you need to participate in. You've made some changes. You have, your intuition is telling you that there is a conversation that you must have. And I know you're feeling that. There's a conversation at work about things that are going on. You feel it, you can feel it in the atmosphere. Your intuition is telling you this. So this is, this is key for the month of July. So we're gonna put that down because that's gonna be our anchor card right there. And so now I'm gonna kinda cut this in half a little bit, right? Kinda pick these cards up a little bit here. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna kinda do this. We're doing this, we're doing this Miss Blue style. <laughs> Miss Blue style here. We're going to do this. Mm, mm -hmm. So there are some things that we can do. Let's take a look at what are some of the things that we can do that really assist us in this month of July. You know, because there's some very, very powerful energy. Like we almost just got like a spiritual upgrade. Um, really, you can feel the energy just sort of kind of bursting inside of you. And so one of the things that we can do, perfect, is we can journal. Journal. Because remember, spirit moves on written words. So this is the time that when some things are hitting you, when some things, you can feel it. You can just feel it, you know it, or even if they're things that you want to accomplish. I want you to write them down. You know, get you a journal, get you a book, get you your sacred book. See how I have my spiritual vibe tablet and many of you have that as well. Get you a tablet that can travel with you, that you can write it down. And of course, we have our digital devices. Our digital devices are important too, right? But there is nothing that can take the place of writing things down. And one, because there is proof that when you write something down, you are etching this. This is etching this into your cosmic stroll, your subconscious. And it's going from the hand to the brain. And it's really embedding itself. And it's also allowing the energy to move through you. And when you put words on paper, spirit moves. That spirit will be you. So it literally will open you up. And you don't have to do journaling like we were taught back maybe in our younger years. This is not about writing 12 pages. Sometimes I journal and it's just one word or it's just a phrase. Speaking of which, I have the phrase for us in the month of July. So we'll get to that in just a second. But the first thing is to write it down. Write it down. Not just the things you need to do and accomplish, but also about how you're feeling, right? Also about things that are going on. Also about those things that I like to call push thoughts. You know, that's when something just goes ding. It just kind of pops in your head. Write it down. Write it down. The universe is always speaking to us. The divine God, however you want to say it, is always speaking to us. So here we go. You're going to have to journal your thoughts because spirit moves on written words. Mm. 
July is looking real good. It's looking real good. It's looking real, real, real good. And then next, here is the phrase that is our blind spot for the month of July. Don't burn bridges. Don't burn bridges. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. You don't wanna burn no bridges. You don't wanna do that. So it's a lot of energy in the atmosphere. And you wanna make sure that you are staying in a very healthy and a very balanced place. This energy is here, but it's meant for us to use. Let's see what that is meant for. Look at this. You can't make this up. It is meant for us to use for creativity. Creativity is the only thing that's going to change this world. And so you see these beautiful paint brushes here and it really shows you to be creative. We are in the time that we've talked about on Planet Remix. And by the way, if you haven't listened to Planet Remix radio show, I wanna be the first to invite you to do that. So you can do that here on our YouTube channel, or you can go anywhere that you get your podcast, iTunes, make radio. You can go to iHeartRadio or any of those other places and put in the remix and you will see. You will see the remix, Planet Remix will be there and you can dive into the archives which go way 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 back but let's talk about creativity because this is how we're going to make it through this month activate our intuition not burn no bridges you're going to find a lot of energy that's coming up now so one of the things i want us all to just kind of take a step back and really think about how can we be creative how can you get into something um, that is creative and fun for you, right? This is this energy here really wants us to go head first and dive in 100%. And that is a great thing to do. But I also, what I want you to do is to make sure you're not over committing yourself. And, you know, back in the day, we would say, don't write a check your ass can't cash. Yeah, don't do that. Don't commit yourself and totally commit yourself to something, you know, that you know you're not feeling. Because a lot of this head first energy is really for starting new projects and starting new adventures. You know, we're at a time where we're closing out things and we're starting things. But I'll tell you what I also feel in the atmosphere. A lot of rebellious energy a whole lot of rebellious energy. And one of the reasons why, you know, we have the month of July coming up, it's a celebration for those of us in the West who celebrate um, sort of the independence of, for those of you in America, one of the largest um, countries on the continent, you know, and has a long history um, along with other countries. But this is also a rebellious type energy that's coming up. And you're gonna find yourself wanting to go against everything, you know? It's naturally going to be waking up within you and it doesn't matter where you live. Uh, you could be living in Germany, in Europe. You could be um, living in Spain or India or Japan. You're gonna feel this energy of wanting to rebel especially if you're still living home with your parents or your parents is the main source of your support or connection with you. I really just feel like a lot of that energy is coming up. You know what it feels like? It actually feels like ancestral energy. Ancestral energy. And so many people feeling like, I'm going to be the one. I'm going to be the one to stop this. I'm going to be the one to not do this. I'm going to be the one to break this curse or to stop this in the family. And that's really a good thing with a lot of things that's happened in our world. I just want you to be caution. Don't burn the bridge. Don't burn the bridge. Right? Because you never know when you need to go back over it. This is really about you sort of standing up, being the leader in your life, taking your rightful place of being the person that you're truly meant to be and showing that 
and living your life to the fullest. So you're going to get a lot of energy to move forward. You're going to get a lot of energy to do things that maybe 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And for some of you, depending on your age, right? Things that you wish you would have done in your 20s and your 30s. And so you're going to feel that energy like, hmm, I kind of want to go back and I wish I could have changed this and I wish I would have did this and I should have did this and I would have did that. All of these thoughts are going to be coming up, but they're really coming up to have you begin something new. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of you are going to be in some tough situations, right? where you're gonna need to stand up for yourself. And you're gonna need to sort of kind of go head first. But this is not about making everyone your enemy. I want you to really look at this from a creative aspect. And the reason I'm telling you that is because it's a lot of energy in the atmosphere and you can create some awesome, amazing, wonderful things for yourself. If you don't waste time, on the haters if you don't waste time fighting what everyone is telling you sometimes when people tell you stuff you just go mm -hmm, thank you and you keep it moving you don't have to have this big blown out discussion and argument because you're wasting all of your beautiful creativity that the divine has given to you to create something so unique and so magnificent you want to stay in that particular place. Yeah. So creativity is beautiful. Find something creative. And for those of you listening, I would love for you to share down in the comment how you're going to be using all of this energy that's coming up for you. So that's another. Let's talk about it. Mm. Tapping into some soul magic. And this will do you if you see this here. This this is all about soul magic. So this is really about your personality. This is about how you show up, you know, when it comes to our sun sign. This is who we are. But we also know that we have also energy of our moon signs, our rising signs. And truth be told, we are all 12 zodiacs. So this is sun magic. I know I said soul magic, but it really comes from the soul. This is sun magic. So this is all about you being who you are. The very, very best version of that. This is you. If you had to write a chapter in your personal biography, I want you to use the month of July as how you would like for it to read. It's not about pretending. It's not about um, trying to be someone you're not, but being who you know you are. And so whatever that looks like for you, whatever that feels like for you, you don't have to wait to be that person in the future. No matter what you're striving for, whether you're in college or in school, or uh, if you're taking a new class or a trade, or you're doing something different, if you're physically working out, working out with your body, if there is a financial situation that you're having challenges with, I want you to use the month of July and use sun magic, which is sort of your birth energy doesn't matter what your zodiac sign is, but your birth energy. And really get out a piece of paper and a pen because we have the journaling, right? And I want you to write down who you are, who you are, who you know yourself to be, not who society or the culture or what people know you for, because many of you are trying to rebel against that. You no longer want to be known for what you're known for. You, 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 you really want to kind of switch it up, write it down and really, really use your intuition to tap deep within your spirit and your soul. And I want you to be that. This is what sun magic is about. It's about the energy of transmutation. It's about the energy of growing up on planet Earth because we use the sun to grow everything on the planet. The grass, the trees, the flowers, 
animals and even us as human beings on the planet, we need the sun to survive. So that's what I want you to do. Tap into your soul ma sun magic. There it is. I want you to see that really good. Tap into your sun magic. Tap into that. Tap into your sun magic and really, really feel the vibes and be that person. Be committed, make a commitment that you're gonna be that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Not just when you go to work, not just when you're around your man, not just when you're around your woman, not just when you're around your family or people you care about, but even when it is just you from your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul. What kind of food would you eat? How would you dress? How are you going to respond to things? How are you going to speak? How are you going to talk to yourself? What is your place going to look like? All of these things need to go into sun magic. And so next, here we go. This is so divine right here. I love this energy right here because again, it's all about love. And it says communication, trust, and loyalty. And this is sort of representing the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And that's what I want you to do. Think of this, not just about people in your life, that's important too. But what's most important is that you're able to give this love to yourself and you're able to balance out sort of this yin and yang energy, right? Masculine and feminine. Communication is going to be key because if we have healthy and good communications with ourselves, then we will have healthy and good communication with every single thing we come in contact with. Just like right now, we are all having healthy communication with this psychic oracle deck. So communication is key and to trust. Trust the process. Trust your intuition. Trust what you have committed to. Trust, trust the universe, trust the divine. Trust that things are in alignment for you. And then be loyal. Be loyal to the process. Totally loyal to the process. The process of your own growth. Giving yourself that space and grace. Giving yourself space and grace throughout the entire month of July. Because I promise you, energy is high. And this is why the energy is so high. All of us is sort of getting a solar plex chakra update. So whether you're born day, because we know we're in cancer season right now, or it doesn't matter when your birthday born day is, every single person on the planet is getting a solar plex chakra, which is your energy center. For men, it's going to be right above your belly button. For women, um, uh, no, it's going to be, uh, yeah, right around your belly button right above your belly button, that's your solar plex. That's your solar plex chakra, right there by the belly button and right up above. And that solar plex chakra has everything to do with our will. It has to do with our will. It has to do with our emotions, right? It has to do with all of these things that are inside of us. This is where we carry feelings about ourselves. We carry our emotions in our heart for what we feel about people in the world and things in the world. But when it comes to us personally, how you feel about you, how you love you, how you trust you, how you care about you, you carry that in your solar plexus. That solar plex energy is so important because it really is where our intuition starts to come into the physical body. This is one of the major points of entry when you get those butterflies in your solar plex and it starts to come through and you can feel it. This is a part of your intuition. And then it begins to move through the heart, move through the, you know, the heart and go up, upward, you know? and then into the third eye and it shows us in some sense of way of what is going on around us. But we're all getting 
and upgrade in our solar plex. How cool is that? And that upgrade in that solar plex is all about you. It's about you. And so this is, this is some really beautiful energy here, but this energy sometimes um, puts us in a position where we feel like we have something to prove. Um, it feels like we have to kind of fight for who we are. It's quite frankly where a lot of this rebellious energy is gonna come from. So this is where you can stand in your power and be empowered and lead with a position of love, lead from love. You know, we just got the love card there and really know that this is where we're rewriting some chapters in our lives, in the history on the planet of being the very best version of ourselves that we know we can be and utilizing a lot of this energy when it comes out a little wonky through creativity because it's through creativity that you will tap into really the manifestation of the world that you're seeing on the outside because right now we're just sort of prepping ourselves for yet again another sort of transformation that we will see later in the year that will manifest itself. So it's a critical, critical month, but it's a beautiful time because everyone can truly have sort of a celebration of another return around sort of our energetic being because the solar plex chakra at this time is getting an upgrade. And that upgrade is based upon what you came to the planet to do, whether you know that or not, or 100% clear of that or not. Uh, it's based on past lives, right? It's based on our ancestry. It's based on the work we've done in the world thus far. And it's based on how we love ourselves and see ourselves now. Yeah, so this, mm, that's a game changer right there. Happy birthday to all of us. Ooh, look at this. It's gonna be a lot of water, a lot of water movement. But we know that element of water itself is connected. It's connected to the flow. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's connected to grace, confidence, and emotions. So look at the water, but look at the clouds, look at the sky, and look at the rocks, how it's splashing against the rocks. One of the most powerful elements on the planet is water. And really most of us were made out of water. We're like 80% water, I would say. It's the planet is about 70% water, 80% water. I personally think we have more water on the planet than we know what to do with. We just have not unlocked the keys to utilizing the water in a way for consumption. But make no mistake, this is a planet that is submerged in water. And not only do water carry um, our emotions, we know it symbolizes emotions, but it also carries information and knowledge. And water has the ability to be programmed, so you can set intentions in water. That's why it's important when you get up in the morning, you set an intention for yourself, because you're programming sort of yourself, or I should say unprogramming yourself from maybe some of the things that happened during your childhood or things that you felt in relationship that really kept your waters sort of not flowing, not in a state of grace. But water really gives us the confidence because we can really feel our emotions and know that there's signals to really guide us in what's really going on in our internal landscape of what's happening within. 
So this is a beautiful sign about the waters and there will be a lot of water activity happening on the planet at this time. So make sure your waters stay flowing. You stay in that place of grace. You hold the confidence and you stay connected to your emotions, not allowing your emotions to lead you, which is very different, but staying in connection with your emotions. Let's kind of lay this out here a little bit because we're, we're really building a beautiful story here. I know you all can see this. This is a real beautiful story uh, that we're, we're building here about the month of July. Yeah, look at that, look at that about the month of July. Yeah, let's make sure we can get them all in. Let's make sure we can get, get the month of July in here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's go to the next card. Mmm, so this make, it makes sense. Soft spots, gentleness and diplomacy. Keys of life. This is for you to really handle yourself with gentleness and diplomacy. And as well as situations, I feel like some of you right now, you're being presented with a lot of opportunities. And I want you to handle the, these things with gentleness and diplomacy, especially when it comes to friends, family, or, or, or maybe uh, you have an exciting adventure that someone wants you to invest in and you're thinking about diving all in. Really know that these are soft spots. Certain conversations when it comes to your children and people feeling like you should be doing this with your child or you should be doing that or not doing that. Or if you're in the position of making decisions, right? Make sure you're using gentleness and diplomacy. Soft spots, that's the key. You wanna do that. And you wanna do it with yourself with yourself as well. So we know that that's coming up. And ooh, look at this. I love it. Fire, a lot of energy here. This is about you finding your light. It's a lot of energy, this element of fire. You see it burning there. And it's about letting it go now. The things that have been heavy on your heart heavy on your mind, let it go. Because there's so many beautiful things in store for you this month. I feel like so many of you will have breakthroughs in areas you haven't been able to break through in a long time. And for some of you areas, mm, you just never had any breakthrough. So the fire is there for that. So that's the drive and the passion that we're gonna be speaking about. And then ultimately, if you do all of that, it's gonna bring you to a state of joy. Joy, joy. This is about abundance in your life, having that fulfillment. It's about joyful activity. It's about getting out. It's about having fun. It's about allowing yourself the freedom to feel joy. Many of us feel like we want to break free from the day to day or whatever we're doing. And what we're seeking is true joy. And that joy does lead to a fulfilling life, a life of fulfillment and more abundance in our life. You can look at the word abundance. You see dance at the end. So get out there, dance, have some fun, do some joyful activities, things that raise your vibration, that lift your vibration, that puts a smile on your face. Things that bring you joy. Yeah, because that's how you're gonna be activating a lot of things. And then, whoo, here we go. I think this one says it all. Upgrade your self-talk. Yeah, we've got to do that because this is vitamins for star seeds. And we know all of you out there, if you're listening to this, you're a star seed for confidence and courage, for courage and confidence. You've got to upgrade your self talk. How are you talking to yourself? What does that communication sound like? Oh, we know what it sounds like when you wanna to pretend to talk to other people, but how are you talking to you? 
Are you giving yourself your vitamins? Because words are vitamins for star seeds. For those of us who know our magic, words are vitamins. Thoughts are vitamins. Emotions are vitamins. Because you're gonna need the courage and the confidence to stay in a place of balance this month. Yeah, let's get one more. One more, one more, what do y'all say? Ooh, look at this. Hmm. Food is gonna be so important this month. Food, so important, so important. More soul food energy is needed in your life because you are recalibrating. Well, we know we're recalibrating because we got this. We know the whole planet is getting their solar plex chakra updated. So you're gonna need some soul food, some good nourishing food for your body. Some green juices, some vegetables, you know, food that is alive. We're living electric beings. And so as living electric beings, we too must eat foods that are alive, that is good for our soul. It's soul food energy, yeah, for all of us. So that is gonna do it for the reading for the month of July. Just to give you all some insight, I want you to take it all in. We started out with the intuition and then we learned that with the intuition, we have to write it down. We need to take those things that are coming to us to write it down. We need to engage in activity when it comes to creativity because that's just gonna open us up to so many things, our gifts and things in our lives for this particular month because it's a transforming month, not allowing ourselves to let this energy fall into a lower vibration because the lower vibration of this looks like being reckless when it comes to sex our sexual energy, being reckless when it comes to trying to manipulate people for attention, to get what we want, trying to seduce people into doing what we want them to do for our own personal gain. You don't wanna get into none of those vibrations and you wanna be able to spot it when it's happening. So creativity is your best way. I promise you, it will open you up to things and understanding and knowledge that you never thought possible. And then again, love, love, love. You know what I say. Love is the only thing real here on planet Earth. And it's all about communication. It is all about trust and loyalty. First to yourself. First to yourself, the yin and yang you must give to yourself, balancing out those aspects of yourself. Because if you can do it for you, you can do it for everyone. And then here's the other key. We're gonna be tapping into sun magic this month. Sun magic is so important because this is you sort of kind of building your divine blueprint. You are writing yourself a new story. In fact, that's what we're gonna call it. Writing yourself a new story of who you are and then making a commitment to show up and be that all the time, 24 seven, like never shut it down, never close it off, stay there. Create a marker point, a spiritual marker for yourself and writing down those attributes of you that you know who you are, you know who you are and be committed to that. And the reason for that, you know, the whole planet is getting their solar plexus upgrade. Mm. It's gonna be some good stuff going on. We know that solar plex holds a lot of energy up in there. So this is definitely going to be where the solar plex energy, because this is where we hold how we value and care about ourselves. Do it for the love of yourself. You understand? Don't overcommit and definitely don't burn no bridges. Don't have no arguments. You know, this is the time to really, really allow yourself to show all the work you've been doing in for yourself in many, many lifetimes, right? 
a lot of rebellious energy going on out there. You're going to see that. And you may see that in your personal cir circle, uh, people you're hanging with in the culture. You know, you're going to see that everywhere. And you want to make sure you're in right alignment with that energy. Not only should we be drinking plenty of water, but we also should be respecting the waters on the planet because the waters are meant to flow with grace and ease. It brings the confidence from within. It's connected to our emotions and our emotional intelligence, right? When your waters are really set with some high love and intention, uh, this is when you can have access to so many things on the planet. Plus water is pure. Uh, it, it can be uh, purifying, it can be refreshing, cleansing, you know, it can, it can cool you off, you know? So think about that um, before you act, before you jump into something. Test the waters, so to speak. <laughs> and then next, after the water, we were able to get into, I can't even pick up the card, look at that, gentleness and diplomacy. It's gonna be a lot of this being used this month. We need, we got some soft spots out there, but if you can handle and be in the spot of higher vibration with gentleness and diplomacy, you will get your keys of life. You will. And you will keep a lot of relationships intact, hence, you won't be burning bridges because you don't want to do that, I promise you. Because these may be things you can't live with. And once you say it, once you do it, you can't take it back. You cannot take it back. So gentleness and diplomacy, right? Because everyone is feeling their soft spots because you need to get your keys of life to move you into the next step. Because ultimately, here you are, joy. You wanna stay in a place of joy, abundance, do some joyful activities, have some fun. You wanna do that. We got a lot of this energy happening on the planet and it's here for us to let a lot of things go. You don't have to fight with everyone. Everything doesn't have to be your point. You don't have to win every argument. And be careful about those fires you start because just like some forest fires, it's not as easy to put those fires out. It's a lot of energy. This is really a reminder of the fire to find your passion and to use it in a very loving way. And sometimes when you do have to stand up, stand up for yourself or really express your opinion. Remember, it's for you to shine your light, to find your light. But then you have to let it go. Don't let it fester. Don't let it be like a fire raging out of control. Just let it go. Allow it to let it go. Because ultimately, uh, it's not going to serve you well. And so, lastly, well, not lastly, but coming up, you have to upgrade your self-talk, how you talk to yourself. Really, when we're talking about self-care and self-love, this is all about how do you talk to you. That is the foundation of self-care and self-love. Everything else is just extra, but it's really about how do you talk to yourself? Remember, words, thoughts, emotions, and how we talk to ourselves are vitamins for star seeds on the planet. This is where you will find your courage and your confidence uh, in your life, and it will improve every area of your life. Because everything that you're seeking, everything that you want to manifest is in a higher state of vibration. And then lastly, this is about food. The things you're taking in your body. The things you're taking in your body. You need more soul food energy. 
and soul food energy is needed in your life right now because as you can see from this whole reading we got a lot going on in the month of July you're recalibrating taking healthy food taking soul food energy and not just food for your physical body but food for your mind food for your heart food for your spirit stay out of gossip Stay out of drama, you know, really feed yourself some high vibrational foods. Well, that is going to do it for the month of July. I so look forward to hear what you took away from this very, very collective reading for all of us here today. Uh, I am Miss Blue, the Oracle, and I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you for joining me here. I'm going to do more of these. You guys seem to really love it. And of course, you know, I love the work so much. We love the work so much uh, that we love doing these. So I certainly look forward uh, to us doing this again and reading all of your comments. So peace and love until we meet again. Ciao.